If there were an anthrax attack or a countywide flu epidemic, would you know what to do? Reporter Sydney Eisenberg shows us how the Maricopa County Department of Public Health is preparing for such an event. School may be on break at Basha High School, but there is still learning going on. The Maricopa County Department of Public Health held a point of dispensing drill to simulate what would happen if Maricopa County experienced a pandemic illness or bioterrorism attack. The goal was to see how quickly the department and volunteers could set up a point of dispensing or pod site in order to screen residents and dispense life-saving medication. We try to plan for a worst case scenario and that's to give um, you know, the medication to all four and a half million residents within 48 hours. During an emergency, vehicles would enter into the pod site, would immediately be screened and then sent down to dispensing where they would be given the proper medication for the type of outbreak. The Department of Public Health has over 100 pod sites across the county that could be used. The sites would only be activated if a mass dispensing of medication was needed. However, Castle says that the department is always prepared. I would love to say that the the chances of that happening are, are slim to none, but unfortunately you never know what's going to happen or occur. Castle says Maricopa County residents can protect themselves from some possible epidemics by staying up to date on vaccinations. In Chandler, Sydney Eisenberg, Cronkite News. The department plans on practicing these dispensing drills every three to five years in order to stay prepared.